Hello and welcome everybody to get into another video and today's video I'm doing a champion guide about a champion from the Skinwalker. He's a void legendary. His name is Frenzy. Frenzy the Crackler. Uh, this champion is recently introduced to the game. As you can see there is only 68 people have dated him so far and he seems from the rating pretty versatile as his he, as his uh, A2 is like basically an HP burn. The problem with it it's a 3 random three times at random which means it's not an aue so that's like a downside but it's an epic usually you don't get like that much stuff with an epic but to be honest his kit is very interesting as like his a2 attack three at random each hit has 75 percent placing hp burn it goes to 100 on a three turn cooldown after booking it also fill the turn meter of this champion by 10 percent uh, for each hp burn which means if you place it on three that's a 30 percent turn meter that's a lot okay he's a defense based champion by the way his a3 which is basically an aue provoke for one turn plus increased defense on himself it's a four turn cooldown which make it too long to be used in hydra like higher difficulty which mean you could use him in hydra but you cannot use him in higher difficulty because this is just too long and not reliable and this one is not aue so it doesn't do enough damage which mean you could use him as like a in like in your heart team pretty much uh ni nightmare is, is too tough for him uh early difficulties are also good his d his uh his passive is also good pretty much one of the i would say one of the best passives for like an epic champion in case that the, 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 the this champion's defense by two percent each time hp burn debuff is activated on enemies stack up to 20 percent which means the longer the fight he will have more defense up to 20 percent and his aura is 30 percent defense in dungeons so uh, his stats are pretty amazing actually like his defense is pretty much as a legendary like a defense champion like around Staltus basis stats look at this one uh, 1443 100 speed some resistance and uh, some resistance and accuracy and his hp is around 17,000. so that's a decent stats for an epic uh how did i build him well basically why did i build him i have an attack build he pretty much can solve the game but i built him for one reason i pulled a six star soul for him and i'm like hey it's six star he's supposed to be better than legendaries without any uh, ascension right or awakening sorry and i went for chain breaker because he's an epic so he doesn't have enough stats as i thought i mean he has enough but not enough stats as a legendary so just i can pump his stats with like some accuracy here like 50 accuracy is decent we're getting 1000 uh, hp and almost 500 uh, defense plus then uh plus 10 speed white chain breaker it's good for hydra if you're not using a shemale as this as at the start of this champion turn chance of removing freeze sleep provoke and the only thing i care about here provoke fear and two fear for hydra that's it and if you have it a high awakening every time a chance every the 25 percent chance of removing debuff and 40 percent chance following this champion turn meter when hit so if he's under provoke by one of the heads that provoke every time he's hit he gets 40% uh, chance to fill the turn meter by 20%. Uh, his masteries, I did not finish his masteries because I don't want to get War Master because I want to give him a test in the Ice Golem. Uh, I think you can take the Sniper which help with the... I don't know if it helps with the Awakening, but pretty much you want this for the increased defense and you want this for the HP burn. Uh, how about this? Does it help with the ascension? I have no idea. So uh, I'm just gonna give him a run in the ice golem. So be right back.
Uh, I pretty much built him to do stage 9. For some reason, I clicked on stage 10. And we saw he was pretty close to dying one of the, in one of the hits. Which makes sense because he's, if we look at his gear, he's not built to do stage, uh, stage, nine, uh, stage 10. Because his defense is, is just not there. Uh, you need pretty much around 4,000. Uh, or you build him around like 3,600 and then you use a defense aura. You could use, use his aura as a lead. And okay, let me show the ice golem sets. So is he there to do stage 10? No, you need actually 50 more accuracy here and you need 50 more resistance. So he did it. Uh, the uh, resistance aura from uh, Oella pretty much helped a lot, helped a ton. Uh, my Artak can do it without Oella, but if you don't have Artak, I think he's a pretty decent substitute as he has a, he has a, a good defense. He has he can do some good damage and his A1 can... Uh, Activate the burn, which is pretty decent, not gonna lie. So, uh, which champion I wanted to show? Okay, okay, where's Oella? Okay, here he is the Oella. She's built in Defiant and uh, Stalwart. And it's the stats. Around 70k HP, lots of defense. And we saw that wasn't sometimes enough. Because sometimes you, you get like unlucky with the crits back to back. And yeah. Uh, let's do stage 9 at this point, okay? I'm not doing any, any offers. Let's do stage 9 and see the difference. Uh, so yeah, that was a pretty clean run, and I think without the blessings, he can easily do stage 5, stage 4, early stages in Ice Golem hard. So he should be like probably the best non-legendary champion to use in the Ice Golem, pretty much. And if you guys see, I didn't finish his masteries just, and I didn't max out his gear just to keep the gear slightly re relevant. I know he has so much speed, it's just because of this glove has quad speed or something. Yeah, it's triple speed. Uh, for Hydra, pretty much I recommend Reflex, as this is too long to be used in Hydra. So even in lower stages, you, if you want to use him, you have to use him with a champion that has an, a, an A1 an that can provoke. So you can try with that one. If you don't land it, you use this one. Uh, so like he need, uh, he need a little provoker with him. Uh, the HP burn, pretty much, as you can see, three at random. Uh, this one is decent, 50% uh, chance to activate the burn. And again, another area where you could actually use him is pretty much Sand Devil as he can land the HP burn and he can activate. He has a chance to activate it with his A1. Uh, pretty much this is the closest to champion to walking to Midrang uh, if you are like looking for a budget option. I don't know about budget because this is the Void Legendary and he's pretty new to the game. So not everyone has it. But eventually when you have him and you don't have any other options, I think he can do the job pretty much. And he has a decent order for dungeon. Like I would say his specialty is Ice Golem. We just turn off this. And you can use him in higher or lower difficulties. For the Dragon, uh, he can do some duo content but pretty much you're better using a poisoner to be honest like uh, a poisoner would do the job much better and for spiders you need an you need an aue burn if you want to use the burn uh, strategy or you could use him just for provoke if you have like those budget teams with like that double cold heart and a champion that provoke something like some uh, budget teams uh, that's pretty much it for today thank you so much everyone for watching and if you like the content make sure you like me to channel me subscribe and see you in the next one